In this video, we're going to discuss cleaning and maintaining your water feature. Adagio recommends cleaning your water feature at least three or four times a year, but the frequency at which you clean the water feature may vary based on the type of water that you use and the location of the water feature. But today I'm going to discuss cleaning four basic areas of the water feature. First, the water distribution unit. Second, the water surface. Third, inside the water tray and the pump. And fourth, the decorative metal trim. First, I'm going to discuss how to clean the water distribution unit. I find that when I clean the water distribution unit, it's easiest to remove the hood. So I'm going to do that now. There are three main areas of the water distribution unit that you need to be sure are clean. First is the front face. Second is the top lip. And third is inside the trough. We recommend using an abrasive or a Scotch-Brite pad to do the cleaning. Simply take the pad and run it back and forth, being sure to cover the entire area of the water distribution unit until all of the calcium and the hard water stains or possibly the oxidation is removed that may have accumulated over time. You may need to remove the white plastic baffle in order to clean out the area of the trough. Just be, sure, be sure to replace it when you're done so that the water flows properly over the top. Next, I'm going to show you how to clean the water surface. As you know, Adagio sells many different types of water surfaces, from slate and marble and natural stone to glass and mirror, and even our feather stone. But today I'm going to show you how to clean the slate and discuss the others. First, I start by getting the stone wet. I use the same Scotch-Brite pad that I use to clean the water distribution unit, and I simply scrub it back and forth, taking off any loose debris, calcium, or hard water buildups that may have, may have accumulated. With the glass and mirror, I find it's easiest to use an ammonia-based glass cleaner. And the feather stone is cleaned the same way as the natural stone. Start by getting it wet and use the Scotch-Brite pad going back and forth until it's clean. Next, I'd like to talk about cleaning the decorative trim. The decorative trim are the, are the metal pieces at the top and the bottom of the water feature. Most of the Adagio decorative trim can be cleaned with an ammonia-based glass cleaner. Simply spray it on, being sure not to get on the wall, and wipe it off. Be sure not to use abrasives or the Scotch-Brite pads that we've discussed earlier, as those can take the decorative finish off the metal. Cleaning the stainless steel decorative trim is a little different than the other decorative trims. We recommend using an oil-free stainless steel cleaner. The water tray should be cleaned as needed. Before cleaning, you need to remove all the water. We recommend doing that by using a wet dry shop vac, a siphon, or a cup and bailing it out. While the tray is empty, we recommend cleaning the large particle filter on the pump. This filter is screwed onto the back side of the pump, can be unscrewed and cleaned. Just remember to replace it when you're done. When everything's clean to your liking, simply put it back together and turn the water feature back on.